Um, I live in a quite small village uh, in the East Midlands. Is anyone from the East Midlands? Yeah, yeah. Fair turnout. That's about, about the same sort of reaction you get when you're in the East Midlands. Because <laughs> um, I was in a small village, and I uh, devised a little game, um, which is quite fun. I'm going to play it with you tonight, because we like audience interaction. Um, do we like audience interaction? Yeah. Sort of irony in that, wasn't there? <laughs> um, <clears throat> so I played, I played a little game myself uh, called Animal or Domestic Violence. Um, I a, you hear a few noises. And in a village like mine, it literally could go either way. Um, you hear a noise, and the idea is you sort of. The weird thing is, you never know what, what, whether it's actually true or not, the answer, because I'm not going to check. But I'll do, a, I'll do a few examples for you. If you hear this. What do we think? Animal? Domestic violence? Animal, correct. If you hear this. That was domestic violence. That was. <laughs> if you hear this, that was actually both. That was domestic violence with an animal. Um, they get quite prevalent in my area. So yeah, I was. Um, you get quite bored over Christmas as well, and I was a new smoker. Very exciting time for me. Who um, ever seen that? Um, so I, I was bored. And I started googling stuff. And I thought, oh, yeah, I'll do a bit of research on cigarettes. Um, and I looked up Marlborough. Um, anyone smoke Marlborough? Oh, uh, tough. Tough crowd on the Marlboroughs there. Good job I don't work for Marlborough. <laughs> Otherwise I'd be leaving. No, I was, I was, I was looking at Marlborough and um, they were originally marketed as women's cigarettes. Because um, they were sort of ladylike and obviously men smoked unfiltered cigarettes at the time. Um, but then it came about that perhaps cigarettes were not too good for you. So they went through a sort of period of rebranding um, and got to the point when they said, right, this is a cigarette for men, health conscious men who want to smoke filtered cigarettes. Um, don't worry, there's some jokes in this. It's not just a part history of Marlborough cigarettes. Um, <laughs> And then they, they, did, they did this sort of big marketing campaign, which is quite famous, um, and they devised these sort of characters, which are kind of representing Marlborough. Um, and these were like typical manly figures, really manly figures. They picked a builder, um, a policeman, um, a soldier. What they'd actually done is form a primitive village people. <laughs>